Good day. The, the word leadership is very much in vogue today. There are many books written about leadership and what makes a good leader and that we all need to be leaders. And some people are born leaders or how to develop leaders. It's a subject that preoccupies us a lot. But I would like to give a word of warning. This is another fad in my judgment. We have saw the word management change over the years. At the beginning, the process was called administration. That's why the first books in management were about administration, and the first journal in the field was Administrative Science Quarterly, administration. But then when administration did not produce the desired results, the word administration was relegated to some middle management, to the bureaucrats, they still are administrators. And a new word was created, management. That's why many business schools changed their names from Graduate School of Business Administration to Graduate School of Management. Because it was felt administration is only a piece of the action and what we really need to amplify and understand the concept on a much wider way. <coughs> that didn't work either. The management process did not develop, the pro did not produce the results that were expected. So a new fad emerged and it's the word executive, CEO, chief executive officer, executive programs. <clears throat> executive development and training. And the word management now was relegated to middle management. They are just management, they are not executives. The executive is at a much higher level. The word have changed, you see. Now the word executive is not doing very well either, is it? So now the new word has emerged, leadership. What we really need is leadership. I'm suggesting to you it is the same lady in a different clothes. We have not changed the paradigm of our thinking. We are still individualizing and personifying the process of management. And we believe that by changing the name uh, and amplifying the concept, we are actually changing the phenomena. <laughs> if we are not. Whether it's an administrator, a manager, executive or a leader, the paradigm is still staying the same, and that's why it will not work. And what is not working? The expectation that a single individual can manage anything. It's difficult being a single parent. We need a complementary team in our marriage in order to raise our children healthy. Same thing is true for an organization. You need a complementary team. The outstanding leader, manager, executive, prime minister, spouse, parent, child does not exist. There is nothing perfect. If anything is perfect, don't hold your breath. It's only for a short term. Everything, because of change, has strengths and weaknesses. Everything has some faults somewhere. That is natural. That is normal. Nobody can be outstanding on every subject, in every situation, forever. Even God admits making mistakes. If you know the Old Testament, God has brought a flood, killed everyone, a whole civilization because they were wrong people, they were not righteous. He left only Noah to survive. He brought the flood for 40 days, and then God was thinking, you see, a time, 40 days to think. And he said, it's not going to work. I can't kill them every two, three generations. It's not going to work. So I bring to myself, every time it rains, now please realize God is worried that he might be forgetful. Isn't that interesting? He brings a rainbow to remind himself to stop the flood because it's not going to work. In a sense, he's admitting, I made a mistake. It's not going to work. It does not work. So who is this righteous person that is always right, that is impeccable, never makes a mistake? That's too much to expect, is it? 
Every human being has their strengths and their weaknesses. But the managerial job, the job of leading an organization, the job of making an organization to be effective and efficient in the short and long run, to be healthy, is far too complicated for any single individual to do. So what do we need? We need a complementary team. I already said it in another segment. Look at whom did you marry? You married a complementary team. You fell in love with your own weaknesses that come as a strength in the other person. But that means what? That we are different. We think differently. And some segments in this program tell you how those differences work and what to do about it. But the essence is we need each other, but we don't like it. Why? Because we are different. We think differently. We have different needs, different expectations, different styles of making decisions. And that creates a lot of conflict. So now what do we do? What is a leader? Please look at my hand. Do you see that the hand is five different fingers? Five different fingers. And we need the five different fingers in order to get a hand because every finger does something different than another finger. If you had five fingers, like the pointing finger, would you have a good hand? This is the best finger there is. No, you will not have a good hand, because you will need things that this finger can do that this finger cannot do. Now, in another segment, I also told you that in the Middle East, when the five fingers are together, that's called a hamsa, that's a blessing. When the five fingers are separate, that a curse. So if you put it in front of somebody's face, five fingers like this, you're actually cursing them. What is the difference between a blessing and a curse? Probably two inches. Are we different and together? That's a blessing. Or are we different and separate? That's a curse. So what is the role of leadership then? Look at my hand. Which finger is the most important one? This one. You know why? Because the thumb is what makes, is the only finger that works with every other finger. If you don't have a thumb, you don't have a hand. As a matter of fact, if you, you lost your thumb by some accident. A surgeon will have to break your healthy finger to make it perform like a thumb so that you can have a hand. You know what the leadership is? Here is the title of my future book or a chapter in my present book. Being a leader is being a thumb. Make us work together. Make our differences work as a hand. <laughs>